chemistry in the kitchen this morning. We do milk and food coloring and soap and as simple as this is, this is something our viewers are going to do it at okay. home. I just know that they will. And then you asked me, uh, can I drink it at the end? Yes. You can do whatever you want. Uh, I just wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> it's, it's not one of the, why, why do you advice. immediially go to, can I, I eat this? Well, or, because uh, my chocolate milk changes color, so I does strawberry. I, well, this is going to be a little bit different. Okay. I, I like the, the thought. Here's what I have <laughs> is uh, just 2% milk. Uh -huh. you, have, uh, you have just regular whole milk there right. on that side. So notice what we've done here. We put it in the plate, and I started with the food coloring for you. Okay. There's food coloring here. Just take one, and you're just going to put a little drop there kind of close to the middle. What we're going to try to do is use the food coloring to be able to see if we can see any oh, movement shoot. at all that you did you did just fine. Sorry. Good. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this okay. one. This one is 2%. So uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to set up a little experiment here so we can test oh, the differences yeah. uh, in, uh, in movement. All right, so the cool thing here, and then I've got one for you over here with water so we okay. can see what this looks like. The cool thing here is uh, that you've got a cotton swab and you're right. just going to take the cotton swab and dip it down into the Dawn dish soap. So I just put a little dish soap right there. So kind of get a good glob right there. And then the camera's going to want to be right down here on the milk the moment that you touch it, all right? So okay. don't touch it just yet. We're going to actually be able to see here as soon as it turns this way. And now touch it right there in the middle and watch what happens. You get this Whoa. wonderful burst of color. Keep going there. You get this wonderful burst of color. See how it starts to move and it starts to churn Very and so cool. forth? Very cool. Now I've got to do it with water just to see if there truly is something weird with the, uh, the milk or if this just happens with all liquids. And you'll right. notice here that when we try it with the water, and again, we put a single drop there in the very middle and uh, watch what happens that we don't we get an initial movement bit, but right. that's it there's no other movement than that initial movement uh -huh. so it must mean that we're testing something other than just the water and you're right we're testing um, the fat Oh, so we're is taking a look going? at the fat. Yeah, oh, it will go for a while. So here, take a look at this over here. Right. This is two percent that's sitting over here. Soap is, is the coolest molecule. In the, oh, isn't that oh, kind of fun? Cool. And watch that one just kind of take like a off. Big starburst. Yeah, hey, great. So soap is this wonderful molecule that has two ends on it. It has an end uh, that's called a nonpolar end for a hydrocarbon, and that's exactly what that milk is. Mm -hmm. And then you've got an end that's polar that likes to hook onto the water. So when you add the uh, the the uh, soap to the milk, what you're actually doing is you're um, taking and, and making all the fat start to move around. So the movement that you're seeing over here, and here I'll give you even another little squirt, the movement that you're seeing here is this movement of, uh, of the, uh, the fat being moved around, and we're seeing that, of oh, course, with all the colors that are there on the side as well. We turned it into a science project, and you can kind of test all the different kinds there, and we put it in the book called Naked Eggs mm -hmm. and Flying Potatoes. And, um, Which you can find, and you've got great instructions in here as well. Very, very nice. But we put it all up on the website as well, so you can kind of do it in a whole bunch of different ways. But a nice way to be able to see whether the fat is there, and that uh, we've got a viewer on Facebook who says it's a polar molecule, which means it's kind of like a, they, they called it a bipartisan molecule. There's one here on this side that attracts yeah. the water, and one that attracts the fat, and you kind of see movement there. Isn't that That's a, so a weird way to think of it? A little well, object lesson. Thank you, Steve. Absolutely. Color Changing Milk. You can find it all in his book, and of course, we've got all the information on our website on our morning show page on 9news.com. We'll be right back. I'd love to see the movement.